Welcome to the Slide Gittins Tech Simplified channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about zero trust and how it can help your business stay secure. So stay locked in and watch this video to the end. Zero trust assumes breach. You heard it. It assumes you've already been compromised. And what it does is verify each request as though it was coming from an untrusted source. So that means that no matter if I'm in the office or at home, it's verifying who I am and ensuring that I'm the right person to access that. And it does that through a various ways that I, probably, I won't be covering in this video. Um, so just remember, never trust, always verify. So zero trust has three guiding principles, always verify or verify explicitly, um, least privilege access, and assume breach. So verify explicitly, like the name says, always authenticate, authorize, based on all available data points. And then least perfect access, access can be described as just-in-time access or just enough access. And you can use some cool features like role-based access adaptive policies or some cool um, features and data protection to achieve that reduce and only necessary um, permissions that that user needs. And lastly, assume breach. Uh, if you segment your business network, that will ensure that data isn't moving laterally. Additionally, you can verify that you have end-to-end -end encryption throughout your organization and then take a step back and leverage analytics to give you a full view of what's going on in your environment. So if something does happen, you can see the anomalies quickly and effectively. Then also leverage data protection because the crown jewel of most organizations is their data, right? So if you've got solid data protection tools, you will be in um, good standings. So why is it great for your business? Because data and your users need a solution or a framework that meets them where they are. So since I can work from home or remote and Zero Trust doesn't trust me anyway, right? They don't trust where I'm signing in from and it's always verifying, I have a better aptitude to ensure that Sylvester is actually who they say they are. And if you also leverage that for the device to ensure your device meets your corporate policies, right? You can ensure that device won't also bring in certain vulnerabilities and protect that. And then leveraging those data policies on top of that, right? Data protection policies that would ensure your data stays yours and doesn't get into the wrong hands. So it's important that your zero trust framework and approach can do all those things. If you wanna learn more about it, watch the other videos in my channel. So I placed a playlist that I downloaded from the Microsoft uh, Mechanics website, a YouTube channel. So watch those videos. And also I put some great links into different Microsoft resources where you can learn more on how to implement Zero Trust in your Microsoft environment. So until next time, Slide Gittins is out. Peace.